Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I am going to work on another triptych. I just wanted to share with you how my previous one turned out. And this is one of them. So I resin this one just to show you. And I took the side tapes out and it looks really pretty. So this is what I have. So I'm going to create something similar, but this time my base coat is going to be the combination of black and white. And we'll see how that turns out. So now that I'm done with my base coat, I'm starting my greens. The first color that you see, it's a combination of uh, primary elements, olive vine, which is a pigment mixed with uh, Master Touch, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. And the name of the color is Light Olive Green. So I mixed those two and this is a translucent yeah translucent color and um, i mix those two to get those that beautiful um olive green color the second uh, bluish green uh, that you see it's from uh creative inspirations and the name of the color is a uh, viridian which is pg7 um, I am really liking this color. I bought this color in a fluke, but I am glad that I bought that. So as you can see after that, I um, layered my cell activator, which is Onyx Black from Amsterdam. And what I'm planning as far as composition goes, I'm trying to fill up the white part of the um, base coat so kind of i'm using the or in my mind i'm trying to have the negative space which is going to be predominantly black and i'm trying to keep all my patterns and my flowers uh, on the white base so as you can see that i left some space for the flowers and the rest i have filled up with um, greens so as you saw, the first color that I am, have added to my canvas is um, Folk Arts Color Shift Paint and the name of the co color is called Flash Orange. On top of that, I used um, another acrylic paint which is called Vermilion Hue from Windsor Newton Galleria Acrylic. So after that, I have surrounded the uh, puddle with, um, the, uh, with a color which is a combination of, um, what's it called? Uh, professional Artist Loves High Viscosity Acrylics and the name of the color is called Quanti Grown Blue Violet. So that's surrounding the center. And I am using another puddle and um, the way i am picking my colors are i want them to be kind of similar tone 
but at the same time they should have enough difference that once i lay all the or, or blow all the flowers they look different so i don't want them to be monotonous at the same time i don't want too much variety if you know what i mean so the second color was uh, i used a tiny bit different tone but the third one i used the same exact color palette with the first one so these are my three flowers and i am going to blow them after that i am going to modify them again i need a bubble this one As you can see on this one, I didn't have enough black cell activators. So I'll be using straw to try to blow some uh, a little bit more. So I will have um, some imperfections and never get um, nervous if you see these little imp imperfections because at the end of the day, it will turn out just right, you'll see. Now that I'm done blowing, I'm going to use a skewer. And of course, I'm going to use the thicker side of the skewer to make it more prominent. And uh, whenever I feel like the flowers can have a petal or some dif dif distinguish between the petals, I will draw it inside towards the uh, center of the flower. So that's how I am creating all the petals. And just make sure that I have a, a paper towel on my other hand. So I, uh, every time I gather some paint or use my skewer, I wipe it down on the uh, paper towel on my other hand. That way, what happens is um, every time the skewer goes in into my canvas, it's clean. And once I'm done, I'm spinning my painting. A lot of you have said that, hey, once you did it, you didn't need to do the spinning because sometimes spinning shifts your paint. Here's my answer for that. If I don't spin, I have too much paint on the center of the canvas and it will crack. So therefore, the spinning that I'm doing, a lot of it because of the, oops, did you see what happened? It flew off but it did not land in a weird spot I'm lucky so anyway things happen as I was saying that you need to spin to make sure that you don't have too much pain on your surface therefore when it dries it will not crack Now at this time you can have so much fun because you can make all these little modifications to make your flowers pretty or you, may, you can make your design pretty. So this is the time you will do everything and I'm done on this one. And I also have two more other canvases to go because it's going to be a triptych. Now you can see that I'm making sure I all my sides are covered. It, the thickness of this canvas is 1.5 inches, so I have to make it pretty and nice. So I'm just taking some extra time to make it more uh, prettier and beautiful. I'm done with my first one and I have to uh, do two more because it's going to be a triptych. So I'm going to kind of fast forward so it doesn't become boring or monotonous. 
So enjoy and I'll play some music for you guys. <laughs> 